my name is Denise Ashur. I am 29 years old and I live in Portland, Oregon in the US. Um, I live here with my husband Omri, our one-year-old son Jack, and our dog Snow, who you can see here. He's trying to say hi to the camera as well. Hello, my name is Olga. I am reporting uh, from the Netherlands, actually from Amsterdam. Hey guys, I'm Aaron from Auckland, New Zealand. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe during this time. Hello everyone, my name is Ivana. Uh, I am a pharmacist. I live uh, and uh, I work in Rimini. Uh, Rimini is uh, the city um, of, the, of the north of Italy on the coast. Hello from Belgrade again from my house. It's after 5 o'clock in the afternoon and the curfew has started. Currently we have about 30,000 confirmed cases in the country and within that there have been more than 3,000 deaths. Um, so for a country of 17 and a half million it is quite a lot of cases in my opinion. The shelter in place slash quarantine order in Oregon has been in effect for about two weeks. They canceled all of the schools, all of the non-essential businesses, etc. Curfew starts during the working days from five uh, in the afternoon and lasts until five o'clock in the morning. However, previous weekend for the first time uh, the curfew was uh, prolonged so it started on Friday and ended on Monday morning. Life is kind of semi-normal here and people are out shopping, riding their bikes, not a whole lot of precautions being taken. People are waiting in line to get into the puzzle store. Shops are open. People are doing business. It's so crazy. I strongly feel that New Zealand is reacting in a very um, sensible and quite a mature way. Um, you can barely see anybody on the streets as well. You can see uh, the center of the city in Rimini is in these days uh, uh, totally empty and nobody in the street. This is in a way heart of my neighborhood, a very busy one. Uh, open market, very popular, is there. Uh, but it's closed for a few weeks now. As you can see, this guy on the corner uh, found an idea for an open business. Right now I am on my way to the grocery store. Uh, this is pretty much the only thing I leave the house for right now, but I tried online delivery and everything was taken for at least the next week, if not more, and we, we really need food. So I'm um, headed there now and hopefully they'll actually have what we need. So most things have been in stock at the grocery store, except for toilet paper, obviously, which we can't find anywhere. Hello everyone, Nick again from Belgium. I just wanted to share with you how I'm spending my days. Well, every day on Instagram, I'm posting a funny video about how to stay positive during this lockdown. And it helps me to stay busy and of course also how to stay positive. I got too much time on my hands Cause Corona came along and cancelled all of my plans One of the good things about being inside all day Is when you do get to take a break and go outside And enjoy the beautiful tulips that are blossoming And these are literally all over the city Say hi mom Hello Hi, this is my mom, she's my quarantine buddy uh, We can't play tennis outside So we improvised And here's our secret underground undisclosed tennis court. We've been here for about 30 days just because we had returned from a trip to Israel and France. And since we had traveled internationally, they uh, recommended that we self quarantine. So we've been home for about 30 days and they're saying it's going to be at least a month, if not more. Um, so we're trying to just get used to it here. It sounds like we're gonna be here for quite a while. <laughs> Eh, del contagio, eh, c'è tanto nervosismo e dovuto appunto a questa paura eh, di potersi ammalare. Questo rende tutto molto più difficile. Please stay inside and soon we can enjoy the weather and the nice things of summer. Well, people are keeping somewhat of a distance. I think the feeling is like life has to go on. Um, we will try to be as safe as we can, but this isn't going to stop us. This might slow us down a little bit, but this isn't going to stop us. 